Depressed people have read it who have been so depressed that they couldn't get out of bed and completely stopped taking care of themselves. How did you overcome this and got back to engaging with life? Outside help. If it's possible to get out of that slump by yourself, I don't know how. I have my family to thank for it. Was admitted to a hospital ward for two weeks. Got into a routine of taking medication and involving myself with therapy and now I'm not 100% there but I'd say about 80%. Getting there. I went to a psychiatric hospital and have been in recovery for about a month now. I wasn't happy about it at first, especially the week I was in the hospital. But now I am proud that I started recovery. It's the best, and hardest, thing I've ever done for myself, smiley face. My cat needed me. Those eyes, the sweet cuddles, her patience. She saved my life. I didn't. Slowly. I didn't have the energy or will to get up anymore, so I just sort of slid out of bed. After that, I could build up the will to crawl places inside my room. That bowl of stale crackers on my desk looked awfully appealing. Maybe I'll put on different pajamas because these kind of smell. And then it snowballed. The more I did, the more I was able to do. Crawled across the hall to brush my hair and teeth, and get some water. Already there so might as well crawl in the shower. Your first shower after an episode like that is amazing. You don't even have to build up energy for soap yet, just sit there. Clean enough. Then I had the energy to get up and make real food in the kitchen. Then I went back to my room and stared at my phone for a long time. And then I called my mom and told her I had to move back home, I was living in a dorm, because I couldn't take this anymore. Those were the biggest steps. After I moved back home, I had to repeat them, but I knew the drill the second time. The most important thing I did was arrange to see a therapist. She helped me more than she knows. I take Selexa now, which was like turning on a light switch. Beating depression is the hardest thing I've ever done, but you can do it too. I have this problem of not telling people my problems so it affected me mentally since I didn't wanna bother anyone I didn't tell anyone about my problems or what's on my mind. And my friend asked my how I was and my parents taught me to not lie to girls so I told her what was on my mind I never felt so relieved in a long time. I told her about my problems and how I was doing it wasn't working as I intend, family problems that I am useless financial problems etc. Now I am more motivated to reach my goals and more. At some point people start complaining you know and you have to be depressed in a different way in order to not be locked up by your own people. I would also like to know. I just stopped worrying about getting out of bed. I actually tried to sleep even more hoping it would fast forward my life. In the last two years I missed my sister's wedding, my younger brother's engagement and I didn't visit my dad once when he was diagnosed and treated for cancer. I felt oceans deeper than I ever had before, one night I finally tried to speak my not exactly depressed, I just feel nothing. Once I've decided to watch all episodes of Adventures Time. And I have to add that until that moment I hadn't realized there are lots of them, 350. I had watched many of them so I thought it would be easier. I was a bit mistaken. I had to make myself watch it. And exactly the part, when I made myself do it made me feel better, so maybe it will help some people. Just make yourself do something, even if you just watch a cartoon or series, read a book or comics or manga, it might help you a little. Went to see a doctor and therapist. Combination of medication and CBT really helps. I was actually very nervous about repercussions at work but they were actually very supportive and I have to say my fears were overblown. Sounds stereotypical but literally my cat. I had adopted a cat that used to be a bait cat and terrified of people but overcame it, shortly after I had experienced a miscarriage again and wouldn't leave my bed. When she realized that I was depressed she stand in random places screaming until I'd go pay attention to her forcing me out my room for me, it comes and it goes in waves, 
I don't pull myself out of it, I just wait for it to pass or if my partner does something for me like make me food, I'll try and eat a bit to get my body going again and I'll try and drink the water he gives me and it's normally the combination of that and time. 3 pills a day. Don't make you better just numb. Still not out of the woods and having battled with anxiety and depression on my own for approx 17 years, I didn't think I qualified if that makes sense, went to a wonderful doctor and about a year after being on meds finally arranged therapy which have both changed the game. I'm not that bad but I will let my psychiatrist know what I've been dealing with and hopefully get some new medication. I have lil bro who I don't want to go through all the shit I went through, I didn't have nobody, I hope he will have me to help him along the way, he doesn't need alcoholic criminal brother. I struggle with this often and I'm sorry for anyone going through this. Having a full time job has helped me because it makes me feel like I'm doing something with my life and it helps me have a routine. Nothing special, I work at a fast food restaurant and saving to go back to university. Other than that, I try not to see those episodes as a failure, but more as a resting time I need in order to be okay. For me, it'll come in random waves. I might do really well for two weeks, shower regularly, eat well, do chores regularly, take care of myself and be out of bed for most of the day. Then, for maybe the next three weeks, I'm struggling just to get out of bed, eat, shower and go to the restroom. Dishes will pile up and my apartment is a mess. I've just sort of accepted this and I'm okay with doing what I need to do to be okay, even if that means spending all day watching Netflix. After those three weeks or so, I'll be back to normal, clean up my apartment and pat myself on the back for getting back up every time I fall. Then maybe I'll treat myself to a pizza or something. I guess it's about being kind to yourself. It has helped and I feel less like a failure and more like a very strong woman. P.S. No I'm not bipolar, by normal I mean just living life normally, not being on any kind of high. I asked for help. I was not completely unable to do my daily activities, but at the end of the year, I had less motivation in school and at the beginning of winter break, I became extremely lazy for the first week. After Christmas, though, I began to read as most of presents were books and my joy in life got rejuvenated. I began to practice my instrument more and I fixed my sleep-wake schedule. Though I am not officially diagnosed, my counselor has said that I do have the symptoms, with also everyone in my immediate family having it too. It is not severe, but this is my little story nevertheless.